trigeminal nerve is the fifth cranial nerve and supplies the face by its three terminal branches the ophthalmic nerve maxillary nerve and mandibular nerve the term neuralgia is derived from a greek word which means pain associated with the course of the nerve so trigeminal neuralgia is unilateral pain along the anatomical pathway of the trigeminal nerve trigeminal neuralgia has many other names like fothergill's disease as fothergill was the first to describe this disease in detail trifacial neuralgia as it affects all three branches which supply the face and tic douloureux a french term which means presence of spasms with pain trigeminal neuralgia may occur due to primary pathologies which cause irritation or compression of the trigeminal root by vascular anomalies abnormal vessels aneurysms tumors or chronic meningeal inflammation also by demyelination of nerve in multiple sclerosis these cases where there is a detectable underlying pathology and trigeminal neuralgia is only a secondary manifestation forms only 10% of all cases most of the cases of trigeminal neuralgia are idiopathic that is its exact etiology is not known Trigeminal neuralgia occurs more commonly in older people with slight predilection to females. In the initial stages of the disease, the pain is described as unilateral dull aching or burning. This period is sometimes called as the pre-trigeminal neuralgia. The intensity of pain then increases to extreme severity and has electric shock like quality. The pain of trigeminal neuralgia is classically described as unilateral searing, stabbing or lancinating type. The pain is so severe that the patient is always in fear of it and has been historically called as suicide disease. The pain is intermittent and not constant. It persists for a period of few seconds to several minutes and then disappears. The patient is completely symptom free in between the attacks. Unfortunately, as the disease progresses, the frequency of these attacks increases. The term tic douloureux is given only when patient has unilateral facial pain along with unilateral facial muscle spasms. A characteristic feature of this disease is the presence of trigger zones. These are areas on face which when touched or activated initiate an attack of severe pain of trigeminal neuralgia. These trigger zones can be anywhere on the face like cheek, all of the nose, upper lip, lower eyelid. When some disturbance occurs on these trigger zones like by touching, shaving, brushing or even just by smiling or exposure to a strong breeze, patient gets paroxysms of severe pain. Usually, one patient has one trigger zone and it remains constant throughout the course of the disease. Just after an attack, there is a refractory period in which even if the trigger zone is activated, it will not initiate an attack. its duration varies patient to patient dental pain migraine sinusitis costin syndrome trotter syndrome post herpetic neuralgia are many such diseases which have pain in the overlapping areas of trigeminal nerves absence of tr- trigger zones is a feature common in all of them the diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia is a clinical one a detailed case history about the pain its location severity and duration is very important history of paroxysms of severe pain and identification of trigger zones makes its diagnosis very easy once trigeminal neuralgia has been confirmed it is important to find the etiology investigations are done to check for any underlying pathology which would make trigeminal neuralgia a secondary manifestation of a primary disease and then that primary disease is treated if no such underlying pathology is found then a diagnosis of idiopathic trigeminal neuralgia is given and treated anticonvulsant drugs like carbamazepine phenytoin are frequently used the drug therapy has many drawbacks like it has many side effects then if the drug therapy is stopped the pain returns so the patient has to take it for life Moreover, with time the patients develop tolerance to the drug and so the dosage has to be increased. Carbamazepine has also been used as a diagnostic agent where if on taking the drug a patient does not report any attack for few days it confirms a diagnosis of trigeminal neuralgia. 
In cases where the drug therapy is ineffective or the side effects are too many, surgical therapy is indicated. An injection of alcohol or boiling water near the course of nerve generally gives temporary relief for few months. Similarly, peripheral neurectomy has also been used quite often. In new procedures, microsurgical decompression of trigeminal root and gamma knife radiosurgery are giving good results.